What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, quick video on um, answering this question. Shout out to Michael. Thank you for answer, asking this question. I know this was a few weeks back, so forgive me. I just have so many videos that are that are already set in queue to go out. So um, depending on when you're watching this, Michael, it might have been a few weeks out. But I truly appreciate you, man. I, tr I appreciate you for, for asking the question and subscribing to the channel. Um, this is a really good question, man. Really, really good question that I get a lot. I... And, and whether it's a real estate agent or just a local business owner, here's the bottom line. Creating your own audience is the best thing you can do, especially with Facebook advertising for the simple fact that Facebook allows you to create what, what they call custom audiences. Custom audiences are people who are actually engaging with your stuff, whether they're commenting on your stuff, whether they're liking your stuff, whether they're watching videos. And this is all when it comes to advertising. And also, yeah, when it, mainly when it comes to, to advertising, when you're running Facebook ads or Instagram ads and you're creating custom audiences around everything that's happening, that's when the demographics, the targeting, and none of that really matters. Um, and I advise clients on this every single day. That's why what I, what I normally try to do is if, if I'm going to work with a client, the number one thing that they have to be willing to do is introduce themselves and introduce themselves on video. Um, because my strategy and what I've been doing for the past few years with, with my local clients is the fact that just because you've been in your area, let's say for example, you're a local business owner and you have a, a, a brick and motor, you know, a building, an office, a local storefront, right? And let's say you've been in that local area for 15 years, 20 years, and let's say you live in a busy city like I do in San Diego, where there's over 3 million people, okay? There's many, many businesses, man, hundreds of businesses in my local area that fit that criteria that have been there, been here for that long and longer. But you know what's so crazy is that there's still hundreds of thousands of people. Let's not call it millions because there's only 3 million, right? But there's hundreds of thousands of people that have never heard of that business. Okay. And that's a fact. Like look at in your local area, you know, how many businesses are out there and do you know every business in your area? You don't even know every business two miles away from you. Right. So it's like these people in your local area, the intro video could be so powerful when it comes to your brand recognition, when it comes to people in your local area, knowing who you are. Um, and so what I always advise and, and my whole strategy is to, is to introduce yourself because you don't know your whole local area, pull out your cell phone and either you're doing this, Michael, or you're going to advise your clients to do this. Okay. You're going to pull out your phone and you're going to introduce yourself and you're going to run that as a Facebook video view ad and target your local area and put some money behind it. You know, don't just spend $10 on it, you know, put 50 bucks, put a hundred bucks and just target that local area to get thousands of people to see your video. It could be a short three minute video of you introducing yourself. Um, if you're a solopreneur and, 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 a, on, and, 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 and an individual business owner, like a real estate agent, for example, it's even more easier for you. Pull out your phone, introduce yourself. If you're doing this for businesses where um, they may not be that selfie holding the phone type of person, take your phone and go out there and, 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 and get the video done for them. I would do that. If they were a local business owner and if I lived in that local area, I would go out there and I would interview them. And I would just simply have them introduce themselves. Because with that first video, you guys, and I want you to look at it as a four-week campaign. This is week number one. In that first week, you're going to take that intro video and you're going to run a video view ad. And depending on what you're in, housing or, or whatever, you, you're going to have to check that box and then you come down and it's video views. But this is the first one. You're going to run that as an ad to capture an audience of people who viewed it, okay? That is a custom audience. Now back over to what Michael was saying, I've been wanting to ask you this. As far as real estate Facebook marketing goes, which I know you're an expert, how can you do well for real estate clients? How can you do well for real estate clients with all the minimized demographic targeting FB has just put in place? Things like not being able to select certain neighborhoods, you know, have the higher income ranges. Um, I would like 
I would think that hinders offering FB ad services to realtors now that they have implement now that they have implemented this. I was thinking of hitting that market with some of the FB training I have taken, but have steered away from it due to what I am mentoring. I am mentioning here. Yeah, very good points, Michael. But here's what I'm saying: none of that matters. None of that matters. Um, none of that matters because here's what you want to do. Yeah, you can't. Facebook changed all that because of discrimination. You can't discriminate. What a lot of realtors would do is they would run ads to high income zip codes and they would discriminate everyone else. So Facebook completely took out the zip code targeting, the gender, the age, um, and a lot of the and a lot of the the, the homeowner detail targeting, right? So Facebook took out a lot of that, and 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 that's why my my strategy holds even stronger. Because as you go and run that video view, right? As you run multiple video ads, and you're running them under video views, what you want to do is start creating custom audiences around everyone who's watching it. So for example, if I come up here and hit the three the three lines and come down to, to all tools and then go to audiences. This is where I'm going to set up custom audiences of people who are watching the videos. Okay, so this is what you're able to do. You want to click on this blue button right here at the top. So we're going to click on this create audience and we're going to come down to custom audience. Okay, and so here's what we want to do. There's many, many different ways you can, you can create custom audiences. But what I like to do is I like to do video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to create an audience around 50%. People who watched 50% of your four-minute video. That right there is a powerful, powerful retargeting campaign. So I'm going to grab, let's say it's an intro video, right? And that's why personal videos, personal branding is so important because it's so, it's, it's so personal. When people see you on video, and I always talk about this on my YouTube channel, the only reason why you guys are here is because you see my face on freaking video. It's the only reason, man. It's the absolute only reason. If I was writing a blog, none of you guys would be reading that shit. None of you guys. Because it's video, you guys are feeling like you know me, like you like me, and like you can trust me because you're seeing my characteristics, you're seeing my personality, you're seeing my imperfections, you're seeing my nuances, you're seeing all my flaws, you're seeing all that shit, right? Because of video. So when you can start putting yourself out on video and targeting your local, local market, okay? Not talking about splatting it on, on social media, splatting spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. No, I'm talking about in your local backyard. When you can start running your videos, people are going to start watching them. And then as you start to create custom audiences around all those people who watch certain videos, look, I can, I can go choose videos. And depending on the business page, I can come down here and choose any video that I want to retarget the people who viewed it. That right there is powerful. So if it was this one, let's say I go with that one. I want to I want to I want to re I want to create a custom audience. I'm going to name this one audience name intro intro video retargeting. So I'm going to use this video, right? This was the intro video. I'm going to use it to retarget the people who viewed it with my next ad. Okay, I'm gonna hit done. And then I'm gonna come up here to ads manager. There's, the, there's now my new custom audience. So I'm gonna come down here now. That's why the detail targeting, all that stuff, man, none of that matters. None of it matters because, because you're targeting a local area. That, that's, that's mainly the, 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 the big one is the fact that if I was a nationwide business, if I was an e-commerce business, and I was selling products online all across the country or all around the world, then the targeting would be a little different. But because I'm targeting my local backyard where there's only so many people, right? I don't need to detail target. I need to just create audiences around people who are liking me, right? And that's why the intro video is so powerful because if you can run it long enough and if you can get thousands of people to view it, there goes your audience. C continue to put new ads in front of the people who are watching your old ones so that branding could be literally on a whole nother level as people start to see your video in marketing advertising the the old rule uh, the the old rule of thumb is a person has to see your ad seven to eight times before they make any kind of decision right whether it's a good decision or a bad decision they have to see an advertisement 
multiple times to, to, to really recognize that brand. And so when it comes to your video marketing and you start targeting your local area, it only takes a few videos before the people in that local area start to notice you, start to see you all the time in the newsfeed and become indoctrinated with your content, especially if you're putting out value-based videos, right? What am I doing over here on YouTube? I'm educating you guys, right? Some of you guys are learning, some of you guys aren't, but that's my whole goal is to educate, 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 bring value via video. Now these are longer, longer form video, right? It's YouTube, but in your ads, you'll keep it shorter, three, four, five minutes, you know, maybe, maybe 10 minutes if that, but, um, but, but what you're doing is you're literally getting people indoctrinated with your good value based content. If you're bringing value and educating the end consumer, educating your potential customer, educating your potential client on your products and services or on the market in general, people start to know, like, and trust you. And because we're building custom audiences around all these people who are viewing our videos, the detailed targeting and all that stuff doesn't even matter. So as I come in here, and if I am housing, if I am real estate, based on what Michael's you know, asking, make sure you're checking right there. And then, and then what you can do is when you're running video views, video views is one thing. You only want to run video views to create custom audiences. Let me make that clear. You only want to run video views to create custom audiences or even reach or maybe even brand awareness. The whole objective there is to create custom audiences, to get people watching your stuff, to build a custom audience around that and then retarget them in the future with traffic or conversion ads. And this is lead capture. So if you're driving people to a landing page, which you should be, then you'll be retargeting the viewers with traffic or conversions. Okay. So let's say I go in traffic and let's say, um, I want to run a traffic ad and I want to, I want to, um, retarget my custom audience. So I'm going to come in here, hit continue. And now it's in this ad set section that I'm going to be able to set it all up. Okay. And then I scroll down, scroll down, and I'm looking for custom audiences. I'm going to click right there. And there goes my intro video retargeting. So I can choose that right there and not even worry about anything else. I could take out the United States. I could, I could still put in my city because I don't want to, I don't want to forget about anyone else because chances are that first audience is not even that big. So I'll go people living in this location and I'll just target that area some more. So I'll create San Diego, California, and then that, that's it. I can go up to 50 miles if I want, but I don't need to worry about age, gender. Um, if, it's an, if it's all English, I'd go English all. And then I wouldn't even worry about detail targeting. Remember, we're talking about a, lo a, a local area, right? We're talking about, um, let's go up to 50 miles. And this reach obviously isn't calculating right because there's way more people who live in San Diego. But I'm retargeting that custom audience. I'm still targeting the city um, and I don't need to worry about any, any of this detailed targeting because all I'm going to keep doing you guys is keep building custom audiences around people who are watching my stuff. So if I'm going after a, a, an area of, let's just say a million people at the, after my first ad, let's just call it, let's just call it your first two ads, run a video view ad, run it for two weeks, run it for 14 days under video views and get thousands of people to watch it. Put ten dollars a day, spend a hundred and forty bucks. This is the foundation. This is where you start your Facebook campaign, and then you and now you have an audience of people who are in who who watched your stuff, right? Fifty percent, twenty five percent, three percent of your video, and all you're gonna do is just piggyback off of that audience. Run another video video ad in in, in a couple weeks. Create a custom audience. Retarget that audience. So all you're doing is getting back in front of people who are watching your stuff, man. And again, because of the video marketing, people are falling in love with you. And because you're bringing value and not just pitching people, right? What do I do over here? Yes, I talk about Kartra and tell you to go sign up, sign up under Kartra, profit with Kartra.online. Yes, I bring that up a lot. But, but on the other hand, what am I also doing? I'm actually teaching you some shit. I'm teaching you what I'm doing to build my business, right? So 
a ton of you guys are getting are getting value out of it and that's why you remain you know loyal subscribers for example same thing's going to start happening with your actual video marketing your f your your facebook advertising your instagram advertising people are going to start seeing you in the news feed often and before you know it they're going to be clicking on learn more going to your landing page and giving up your name and email there's no way in hell someone's going to just sit there for a minute and watch your video on real estate if they were nowhere in the market like at all at all like if you were not a homeowner if you're not even pl planning on buying or selling in the future, there's absolutely no way in hell you would continue to watch people's videos on real estate. Like not at all, especially if they're talking about how to buy a house and you're not even thinking about, buy about buying one, right? So the people who are watching your stuff, man, is your ideal audience. That's your ideal client. And you want to just build your own. Forget about the targeting. Again, because we're in a local area. Now, if we were in a nationwide, if we were running a nationwide business, then putting in some targeting, some detailed targeting would make more sense because I don't want to target everyone, right, um, in the country. We're talking freaking hundreds of millions of people. I don't want to target all of them. I need to break it down and, and target certain interest groups, right? Nationwide marketing. But local, man, local. You, 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 you only have a small amount of people anyways. So why not just target the entire area, the entire, entire city, leave the targeting blank, um, leave the, um, yeah, leave the targeting blank. Don't even, don't even worry about that. And just start creating your own audiences around your own marketing, around your own me message. That's why I'm telling you, man, the people who crush it and just look at it right now. It's perfect. It's a perfect example. The people who are actually crushing it are people who, who actually, put themselves out on video. So again, whether it's video marketing, whether it, whether it's YouTube marketing, whether it's Facebook marketing, Instagram, video marketing, it does not matter. It's like, it's video, man. It's video. And, and, and when you think about who the hell you're following, you're following them because of their video. You're not following them for any other reason, man. You're not following them just because they have a cool Instagram account. If you're following people like that randomly, then you're just, you're just a social media follower. But if you're actually trying to learn some shit, chances are you're following someone on YouTube. And why is that? Because it's video. I'm telling you, man. So when you can implement video marketing, and that's why, Michael, I don't take on every client, man, because not every client's willing to put themselves on video. That's where my whole, I draw the line in, in, in the sand on, is the fact that you have to, you have to be willing to put out video, man. Um, and that's kind of now not every, that's not mandatory, right? It's not mandatory. You you got people that crush it with with Facebook advertising with running image ads, right? And I and I run image ads too, but but I want to put out some videos. I want to sprinkle some videos throughout the month. If that's a monthly client, or 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 if you're looking at this, Michael, as 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 your own business, you want to put a few videos out per month because again, that's what's going to create the custom audience. That's what's going to create your audience. So you can then stay top of mind of and stay in front of at all times, man. Take over your local area. Tell your clients, hey man, what else are we going to do to get in front of your local audience? Like what else can we do, Mr. Business Owner? Do you have the budget for a TV commercial? Do you have the budget for a radio ad? Do you have a budget for the fucking, for the freaking, um, excuse my language, but this shit, this stuff fires me up, man. Do you have the freaking budget for a billboard? Do you have a budget for 10,000 flyers? Do you have the budget to hire a call center and have telemarketers call out? Do you want a door knock? Like how else can you get your message in front of your local audience? The most powerful way, man, in 2020 and, and, and from, from as far as I can see is going to be social media marketing, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, video marketing. So if you're putting out a business, man, let the area know who the hell you are. Let them know what you do. Let them know how fired you up are. You fire, fired up you are and, and, and build that custom audience so you can stay in front of them and stay top of mind of your best clients. All right, guys. So Michael, I hope that answered your question, man. None of that stuff matters at all because what I'm doing with my clients is having them create custom audiences around those who care. And it's those people that we continue to stay in front of day after day after day. All right. So I hope that helped, man. Um, Michael, great question. Thank you so much. And if you guys are new, man, make sure you subscribe smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you guys got going on. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.